Never in a million years did I believe that I would have the honor of standing in front of you, waiting to get married to you, and calling you my husband. Victoria, I have loved you. I have loved you from the moment that we're sitting at Felini's together at the coffee shop. And I haven't stopped loving you. And I never will. I vow to love you as best I can in a way that reflects how Christ has loved us, his bride, and his church. As I grew up, I would journal everything that the Lord told me that he would have for me in a partner. And he, he told me that you would love him first, that you would serve others, that you would be a hard worker, that you would love your family, and that you would be so, so kind. I have to always give you my best, to give you all of my strength, all of my commitment, all of my ingenuity, and all of my wonder. I vow to lead humbly and to keep my ambitions and my goals submitted to our company. So I vow to protect my gift, to make you my priority, to love you in all the ways that you receive love, to push you, encourage you, and love you through the hard times, to respect you even when I'm upset, to honor you as my husband, to cherish you as my best friend, to pray over you daily, and to let you pull these vows out in the middle of an argument to keep me in check. <laughs> I love you. I will forever love you and learn how to best love you in all of our seasons. I vow to protect you and give you all of my love and all of my heart for the rest of my days. They both interact and complement each other so perfectly. Uh, I think they're just a puzzle piece together. I think that she has her qualities that complement his and um, I just am excited for the years to come to watch you guys grow and uh, it's exciting, and I'm looking forward to it, so. I believe that when you guys are finally ready to bring in children and, and, and walk into that phase of life, that both of you are gonna be representing and like warriors for your children and I believe that you're going to set amazing examples. Since the day my daughter was born, I have prayed for the Lord to bring this man into her life and he has answered prayers. Welcome to our family. So happy for the both of you and so glad to have another daughter in the family. And I'm sure that there's gonna be beautiful children that are gonna come from this. We're very excited about this. What I really love about Matt and Victoria is that they put the Lord at the center of every decision they make. Their bond is so strong and their relationship is so beautiful because they go to God first instead of trying to take things into their own hands. Thank you both for being an example to all of us of what it means to glorify God with everything you do. I wish you both a happy life and I pray that the feeling of love that y'all feel today never fades. To Matt and Victoria. <laughs>
It is with great honor that I now pronounce you husband and wife. Matt, Matt, you may kiss your brother.